I'm Agent Rick Martinez. Let me be the first to welcome you to the CIA. And this is the story of America's great house of spies. You've heard of office politics? Ours come with poison pills and guns. Spy trap. I knew this was going to be a fiasco. I've been assigned to a special covert unit, conceived to go where others can't and to do what others won't, whether the mission's authorized or not. We each have our own special skills, Martinez. I leave. Billy charms people, Casey hurts people, and you translate. We are the ODS, last of the old school spies. I still feel the rush, you know? Excuse me? The rush. Coming to work for the CIA. America's House of Spies. I get goosebumps every time I step foot inside this building. You digging on my cross trainers? They are bright. Did you know that there's almost a mile of walkable hall here at HQ? I did not know that. We like to start here at the main elevators and then finish up at the lower level break room with a little bit of shop talk and frozen yogurt. You should join us sometime. I think it really clicks with the gang. I'll keep that in mind. Keep you in mind. The Munich station is requesting a 10% bump. Let me guess. They're saying that Al-Qaeda is entering the beer business. Yes? Sir, something happened at the UN that I think you should see. It's on C-SPAN. That's a cable box, you idiot. You have to put it on channel four. What are you guys watching? The spectacular flame out of a sad little man's sad little career. The man taking a nap is the North Korean envoy, Lee Kwan Song. That is our ambassador to South Korea, denouncing North Korea's decision to test fire their new long-range missile system. Lee Kwan Song just applauded the condemnation of his own country. There's no doubt about it, the poor bastard's right for the picking. Picking as an defection. Yes, grab your stuff. Higgins wants us to go up to New York. Song's gonna defect because he's getting fired. In North Korea, they fire you with a firing squad. As far as intelligence goes, North Korea is hermetically sealed. This new missile system they're testing could deliver a warhead capable of striking the continental United States. Song is our best chance in a long time to get some solid info. Well, maybe we're jumping the gun. This guy hasn't even reached out to us. And that would be fairly difficult. He's under house arrest in the North Korean mission at Diplomatic Center until he makes a vote at the UN on a Tuesday. We have five days. After that, he's off to the airport. Then off to the gallows. North Korea occupies the entire 21st floor, which is locked down tight. So is every other floor for that matter. Well, now we know why Higgins sent us. Competition's looking pretty stiff. FBI. Homeland Security, energy intelligence. Since when do those cadavers leave the office? CIA needs first crack at questioning Song. What's going on in that man's head could potentially wrap up 50 ongoing missions. So what do we do? We take a number? Casey, Billy, why don't you guys mingle, chat, see if we can find a way to cut to the front of the line. Right. I need you to go up to the roof, see if it's clear enough to land a helicopter. Assuming we could pull off a rooftop extraction, we need a clear landing area. No less than 50 by 50. 50 by 50. by 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excuse me. 
sorry, I... Stay away! Is your song? Whoa, wait, wait! Wait! Look at me. Look at me. You don't have to do this. I'm with the CIA. I can offer you asylum. I cannot the defect. Yes. Yes, you can. I have... I have a team of operatives waiting downstairs. We can protect you. But you cannot protect my wife. You can bring your wife too. No, she's back in Pyongyang. If I defect, they will kill her. We'll get her out. We will get your wife out of North Korea. You can do that? We're the CIA. We can do anything. So you had Song, and you let him go. He was going to jump, and I talked him down. And let him go. If I would have come any closer, he would have jumped. So you made a promise that we can't possibly keep. Get his wife out of North Korea. Do you understand the magnitude of my dilemma? I do, sir. Actually, Martinez, you don't. Because what you don't know is I've assured the director, who in turn assured the White House that we would bring Song in. Now, are you grasping the full dimensions of my problem? Yes. Good. Because I would like it to be your problem. So what you're going to do, Operative Martinez, is you're going to come up with a plan to make good on your promise to Ambassador Song. You mean... Get his wife out of North Korea? Precisely. Go ahead. Take the day. Good luck. That'll be all, Martinez. Am I fired? Did he just fire me? I really don't know. Does he seem very upset? Yes, he did. And let's face it, he gave you an impossible task. I know. So? Well... The prognosis is obviously not good. Right. Tell you what, um, let me talk to him after lunch. I find his mood usually improves after he eats. Mm. So what am I supposed to do until then? Hang loose. Try to relax. Uh-uh, positive vibes only in the break room. It's where we come to figure out our troubles and snack. Higgins gave me until the end of the day to figure out a way to get Song's wife out of North Korea. Or else I'm fired, I think. Oh, yeah, he's gonna fire you. You'd have been better off just pushing Song off the roof. Promising this guy you'd get his wife out of North Korea? What were you thinking? I was thinking of a way to keep the mission in play. Which is what I'm still trying to do. That's the spirit. All right, let's figure it out. What does Mrs. Song do again? According to our North Korea desk, Gun Chin Song is a deputy in the Ministry of Culture. Technical services did some data mining and were able to dig up a list of her official duties. And? There's really only one event on there that gives you even a remote chance of making contact within the constraints of your timeline. Pyongyang International Film Festival starts this weekend. It's a niche festival specializing in independent, anti-capitalist filmmakers. If you can get invited, you'll have direct access to Mrs. Song. You have anything on this? Yeah, maybe a way in. Can you work on getting this out? Thanks, Faye. I'll be honest with you, Michael. Propaganda hasn't done anything in North Korea since, well, since Eisenhower was behind the wheel. And obviously, we can't just throw together a movie and enter it into the festival before the weekend. Do not sell yourself short, man. You are Bert Hecker, the genius behind a little film called Tear Down That Wall. We made that movie, and they tore down that wall. Yes, they did. All right, let's see here. 
Well, it looks like there's only one American entry into the Pyongyang International Film Festival. It's called American Totalitarianism. I just love a good comedy. Any way we can attach ourselves to it? Filmmaker's a left-wing, anti-American ideologue named Lars Glockner. And there's no way he's going to let himself be co-opted by the CIA. You know, it's a real shame that this guy's so distrustful of his country. Mm. We're just going to have to steal his movie. Steal his movie? Yeah. Do you still have an acquaintance working over in TSC? She's recently been upgraded to a friend. Oh. Uh, we'll call your friend and have Lars Glockner declared NT-22. Put him on a no-fly list, which will get him tossed in jail for a few days, and that'll keep him quiet. And then Bert here can attach us to the film with producer credits, and we'll go to the festival in Glockner's place. That's the CIA I used to know. You are aware that that would vindicate all his negative feelings about America. In a weird way, it'll probably make him happier, so... Okay, so we have an entrance. Let's just hope Martinez has an exit. Meet Carol Cho an American filmmaker from Los Angeles, California. Is it RFID encrypted? Date of birth, home address, social security numbers, the whole deal. As long as she has that in her hand, your friend Mrs. Song is basically an American citizen. Thank you. This is very helpful. Is it? I just don't see how the North Koreans are going to let her out of their country if she never came in. The plan is, is to slip Mrs. Song's fake one in with ours when we arrive. And when we leave, she's just another passport for them to hand back. Yeah, it sounds so easy. That's because you don't think like a lackey in a totalitarian state. North Koreans aren't trained to connect the dots. If they were, they'd connect starving to the dear leader to revolt. Now, any other questions about how we conduct our missions? Operative Martinez is here to see you, sir. Mr. Martinez, I didn't expect to see you before the end of the day. You haven't given me adequate time to pen a goodbye note. I just came by to tell you that I have a plan. To get Song's wife out of North Korea like you asked. And you put it together an hour and a half? Yes, sir. Then it can't be a good plan, can it? Well, it's a good plan. Vetted with strategic services, travel documents are already in order. I've contacted Mr. Song on a secure line and he is in agreement. We will reach out to him once his wife is safe in our custody. The ODS is prepared to leave tonight, provided you approve it, which I'm assuming you will. These people are all secure. You're just regular North Koreans spying out for happen. Does it make a difference? Who needs spies in the nation of spies? We're like Martians to these drones. Founder. Yeah, let's test the waters. Good evening, everyone. We're uh, the producers of the film American Totalitarianism. So that pretty much tells you where we stand, comrades. Welcome to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. We hope you enjoy the wonderful films of our festival. Thank you. Nei Rum and Michael Imnida. Unchin Song. Are you any relation to Ambassador Lee Kwan Song? Yes, he is my husband. Oh, I had the pleasure recently of hearing him speak at the UN. I was very impressed. Thank you. I am very proud of Lee Kwan. I think he has a brilliant future in service of our great nation. Well, thank you, Unchen. Good luck with the festival. So, she doesn't have a clue? Nope. Her entire world is about to collapse. 
Let's hope she doesn't order someone to shoot the messenger. Okay, this is it. What if she doesn't believe us? We'll all be hauled away to a North Korean labor camp for the next 20 years. Which has an upside. We'll have to ingest whatever this is. Son, can we join you? Thank you. How are you enjoying the festival? It's wonderful. And the people. Everyone has been so nice to us. We are a friendly, peace-loving nation. Your leaders tell you lies. <clears throat> so, uh, you have any children? No. My husband is always traveling. But we hope to have children someday. Our kids are great. I have two myself. I made a video of them. Would you like to see it? This was recorded at the UN two days ago. Keep watching, please. Your husband just clapped for our side, and I think you know what that means. Who are you? We're friends of your husband. Is he all right? He's fine. As long as he stays in the U.S., we came here to bring you to him. Uh-oh, let's go. Congressman Fuller, I'm Deputy Director Farrar. I'm here to meet with Director Higgins. Yes, he had to leave the building unexpectedly, but we can talk in my office. Oh, by the way, you know you're supposed to check your phone on the way in, right? Don't worry. The secrets are safe with me. <laughs> so, uh, what can we do for you, Mr. Chairman? Oh, won't be Mr. Chairman for a few more days yet, but it does have a nice ring to it. I came by to talk about this uh, North Korean diplomat took a nap over the UN. Lee Kwan Song, yes. They shoot people over there for a lot less. We should try and get this Song character to defect. Hell, you folks already have an operation underway, don't you? <laughs> I can't disclose classified information. Let's have it. After I get the chairman's gavel on Thursday, you'll be required to tell me everything anyway. Then we should get something on the books for Friday morning. I'm not looking to worm my way into your business. Just satisfy my curiosity. When do you think this operation will conclude? Ballpark. The Intelligence Committee needs to be ready with a response. We hope to have Mr. Song in our hands by this time tomorrow. And they say that Congress and the CIA can't work together. We haven't seen Mrs. Song all day. There's a good chance we scared her off. Where'd you get that? Sewed it into my suitcase. Hey, how about Sharon? I'd love to. But if we get into trouble later, 
I'm gonna have to do most of the fighting. It's critical I get my carbs. Rick. Mm. We'll be heading to the airport right after the screening. You coming with us? Yes, I will come with you. Good. But first, I must show you something. This is my sister and her family. They will be coming with us. No, 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 you don't understand. There is only one passport for you and one seat on that plane. We can't take anyone else. I cannot leave them behind. Just as I would be punished for my husband's defection, they will be punished for mine. If they stay, they will be killed. They kill those children? For the good of the state. <sighs> Mrs. Song, I wish there was something we could do, but there is simply no way to get those people on the plane. I will not leave, but I will not accept the death of my husband. I am entrusting you, all of you, with his life. Keep him in the United States. You tell Lee Kwan that I love him with all my heart, and I want him to live Make him understand. All right, give us one minute. Okay, I'll start the ball rolling. And I say we have no choice but to leave her behind. What? Song is ready to die for his wife, her for him. They are the very definition of star-crossed lovers. Anyone who knows their Shakespeare, or who's bumped into a midday telenovela, will tell you that star-crossed lovers crush anything that gets into their orbit which in this case would be us wait guys come on all we have to do is come up with another plan plans take time we have to be on the plane in 90 minutes the smart choice is for us to get our asses on that plane and get home but this is what america does when things get difficult they cut and run and leave their allies behind I, for one, plan to have my name taken off this bloody film. Okay, here's what we have so far. We get Mrs. Song and her family into a hospitality van, and we make a run for the Chinese border. There is a remote and lightly guarded crossing on the Amnok River called the Dongbu Bridge. We get across to safety, Mr. and Mrs. Song are reunited, and the trombones play us out. Okay, throw stones. There aren't enough stones in the world. Where exactly is the Amnok River? Sort of north, northeast-ish. So we don't know where we're going. It's a long shot. Show of hands, who's out? Okay, long shot it is. Finally. You know, I suppose we ought to let headquarters know what we're up to so Higgins can fix our border crossing with the Chinese. That sounds like a fun call to make. I'll do it. It's the least I can do for getting us into this. We agree. <sighs> Sir, I've got Operative Martinez on line two. Operative Martinez! You're on your way to the airport, I trust. Uh... No, sir. We're making a run for the Chinese border with Mrs. Song and several of her relatives. I see. Hold on a sec. What did he say? Nothing, he put me on hold. We need to grab Song and bring him in. Right now? Those idiots are making a run for the border. It's now or never. If he hears that we got his wife killed, we'll never get him. Sure. Martinez? Hi, sir. I, I can explain. Oh, no, Dan. Just know that you have our full support. 
That's great to hear, sir, because... As you probably know, we'll need someone to contact the Chinese and make sure they know we're coming. Of course. We're crossing the Amnok River over a place called the Dongbu Bridge. We know. We've got a lock on your phone. Okay. Bye. Hung up on me. That man never ceases to inspire me with confidence. The born leader. So, are we calling the Chinese? Oh, yes. Call the Secretary of State's office and have them set up a conference call with Beijing. Tell them we require an expedited removal point opened along their border. I knew this was going to be a fiasco. get to the bridge. I need for you to act as our tour guide. Can you do that? Yes. He wants to know what are we waiting for? Well, you can tell him that we're waiting to hear if the Chinese are okay with us crossing the border or if they plan on shooting us the second we set foot in their country. Well, if they're going to try to cross, the Dongbu Bridge is their best shot. Sir? <clears throat> Ambassador Song. Director Higgins, my apologies. Where's my wife? Your wife is in good hands. Yes, but where is she? She's out of Pyongyang. On a plane. Our team is attempting to bring her over the border across the Amnook River. No. They will never succeed. I will not allow my wife to do this. Sir, I assure you, the team with her is the best team that we have at this sort of thing. They wouldn't attempt this if they weren't confident that it can be done. I will turn myself in. I will tell them you kidnapped her. Our arrangement is off. I will not defect. This is unacceptable. Please get out of my way. Let him go. Ambassador. Your wife has already agreed to this plan. It seems the two of you are in a dispute. Maybe the best thing would be for you to talk to her and resolve that dispute. Siggins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on a second. They picked up Song. Your husband would like to speak to you. We'll go back to the capital. I will turn myself in. We'll be spared if I accept my punishment. If there is even a chance we can be together again, it's worth it to me. There is no chance. These men have endangered your life. You and the family will walk away from them. I cannot stand by and let you be killed. I cannot. Please respect my wishes. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. Let me speak with him. <laughs> Mr. Song? This is Michael Dorset. I need you to listen to me. In the last five years, I've crossed in and out of North Korea three times. I know it can be done, and I know how to do it. We'll get your family back to you, sir. That's a promise. Martinez, he trusts you. It's time for you to talk him off the ledge again, okay? Mr. Song, this is Rick Martinez. What can I do to convince you to let us save your wife? You can be honest. Do you believe the men you are with are capable of bringing my family to me? Yes. Yes, I do. 
do it. Please keep them safe. See you in Washington. It's gonna be okay. You've crossed in and out of North Korea? Of course not. Nobody ever gets out of North Korea. Yes? This just came in for the Chinese embassy. Thank you. Well, good news, Ambassador. Our men can expect cooperation when they cross the border into the Liaoning province. Yes? Sir, I need to speak to you in private. It's urgent. Excuse me, Ambassador. on CNN talking about songs to fiction. What the hell's he doing? We've got men in the field. Sir, if it's on CNN, then the North Koreans know about it too. All right. If I hug the gully, I should be able to get within 20 feet. And you guys come in loud across the road. That'll give me enough time to take him out. If I come in loud, when I get shot? And? I'm not able to dodge bullets. I'm aware of that. We're gonna stay hidden in the trees. We'll wail like angry forest witches. But that's all the distraction you're getting. Now let's just sit tight until Higgins Green lights the border crossing. Can I ask you guys something? Star-crossed lovers. Just got me thinking. Have I ever known a woman that I would give up my life for? Julie Raines. High school. Her father was a little bit of a racist, but she was... She was amazing. Padma Daruna. We were stationed in Cambodia for two years. Shared a tent most of that time. She... had this... way with... Snakes. Fearless. What can I say? I'm being careful to keep my heart in a box. I can't speak for Martinez, but your lack of openness offends me. Oh. I just got a call from Langley. We're approved to cross into China, but someone's leaked the story of Song defecting. It's all over the national news. Well, maybe they haven't heard it here yet. Are you listening to what I said? It's everywhere. Of course they've heard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Maybe Martinez is right. You can't even get a toilet to flush in this backwater hellhole. Now we're supposed to expect they're buttoned up enough to get word to every podunk outpost on the border? They probably can't even find a radio that works. <laughs> You can't hear your words. Our tourist plan is out the window. What if we cross that river? I've already scouted it. It's too deep and swift. And we can't afford to be too clever here, guys. We need to make a run for that bridge. So I say we get the van, we ram the gate. I mean, we'll take a few rounds in the process, no, but... No, no, no. We've got kids. They can get shot. If we get caught, they're going to get shot anyway. Well, we can't cross the river. We can't fight our way across. It's going to have to be the van. Let's go. One more is not going to make any difference. 
difference. Thought about wearing a Kevlar vest? The damn things are too heavy. I'm out of shape. Look. I came by to say I'm sorry I jumped the gun a little on that defection thing. In the end, it all worked out, right? No harm, no foul. We got lucky. Well, you know what they say. Luck is when a person who's prepared meets opportunity. You and your team did a hell of a job. Yes, they did. Despite your stunt. Do you realize that real lives were at stake here? Well, of course I do, Director. Who do you think I am? Some kind of monster? No. You're a showboater, a blowhard, a shameless opportunist, but not a monster. I was hoping that you'd understand the political realities involved in all of this. Oh, I understand politics very clearly. This file is a detailed account of how you lied about your involvement in Song's defection and how it almost got five civilians and four American operatives killed. I only need present this file to two people, and you will never chair the Intelligence Committee. In fact, you'd be lucky to get reelected to Congress. But I'm not going to do that. Why not? Because I believe that you're right. We can get past this one incident with you as chairman. I have every confidence the Intelligence Committee will nurture an even healthier partnership with the agency. Good luck, Congressman. We'll be watching your career with great interest. And just remember, you can always count on this agency to work with you. But we don't work for you. <sighs> I hope that our agency has made you comfortable. I will not be comfortable until I'm with my wife. But I do thank you, Operative Martinez. Good people, they're not exactly primed for public displays of affection. One of the few things I admire about North Korea. I found her. Julie Raines. She lives in Maine. Has triplets a parrot and likes to play snowshoe softball into wintertime. What are you talking about, Martinez? Julie Raines. The girl I would have traded my life for. Something we talked about back in the border, in the woods. We shared. Two of us did anyway. Fine. Olivia Drummond. I'm not allowed to elaborate, other than to say that our bumpy relationship is firmly sealed under order of queen and country. But given the opportunity, I'd have happily taken a bullet for her. Where is she now? Oh, I'm the foggiest. Hey. Thanks for sharing.
Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.